And for some reason... Oh, wow. How'd he go, dude? Well, for some reason he hasn't moved in his rifleman before until he's done seizing the territory, which is certainly giving me the advantage in the center, clearing out the rifleman team, and now I can in fact hold this point while his riflemen are trying to get back and join up with the rest. And the half-track will certainly convey a large advantage to me in this. I actually like how you have some men in the um, half-track at the moment. Uh, are they engineers or pioneers, should I say? I always keep a team of pioneers in the half-track to man the guns, and then afterwards, if it gets damaged, I can quickly conduct repairs with it. That's totally a good idea, because if you actually look at the um, half-track, it's got an MG on the front and the back. Now, the MGs on the half-tracks aren't nearly as strong as the normal MGs, but they definitely do something. They're very good at suppression. Well, in terms... Now, we have a sniper out from uh, Purple Octopus. Yes, and he retreated just as my bike was catching up. And in terms of vehicle MGs, the half-track MG is in fact some of the strongest one alongside the Stug, Stu and Geschützwagen MGs. So basically just effective, I would say. <laughs> yeah, in fact, in Company of Heroes Online, it wasn't really effective at all, much to my dismay, which rather stopped me using half-tracks. That's right, but at least they're quite useful here. Now he's, uh, Purple Octopus is responding with another rifleman squad. So initially you actually took out one of that, those rifleman squads and so he was deciding to replenish and get a bit more. Um, it seems like he has given up. Yes indeed, having lost two entire rifleman teams and that small skirmish at the building he completely gave up, apparently realizing he could not come back after that and yes indeed it was a small match but I certainly thought it was interesting the match at the house where he came from all sides was certainly a bit interesting but at the same time it does illustrate he was his um, lack of response time and of course the fact that he kept overextending himself yeah I definitely think that as well and you definitely had the upper hand like um, when we're just talking about skill wise you definitely knew how to counter everything and I also like that use of the half track because you don't funnily enough see the half track being used as much as it should be I do like how you got the pioneers in there and you had just a, a whole sense of you knew what you were doing you had the pioneers in there because they're a two man squad they can man both of the MGs and they can also repair it so a very good use of that I don't really like how the American just gave up because there's a lot of chances where the um, when you're on the back foot you still have the chance to recover you can always st still win the game if you keep on with that persistence and there's no doubt in my mind he still had points on the map in no way is this going to be the end of the game if he started to go for um, possibly stickies a bit more riflemen and retreated a bit more he could definitely have dealt a bit a bigger blow oh he already had sticky bombs since he actually managed to damage the engine off my half track but if he had <laughs> I missed that Oh, no worries, but perhaps if he had changed the axis of his attack, perhaps going for that MG42 which was on its own, with all those flamethrowers and that sniper, he certainly could have overwhelmed my defenses and managed to cause a cut off there, perhaps, but instead he just gave up after a large, desperate attack against my central position and then moved away, it seems. There's definitely a variety of things he could do, so it's, it's good that he at least had those stickies, because as you guys can see, there's a damaged engine. Um, bars would be definitely enough to take out the half track as long as they're nearby. Um, but apart from that, I would say if Octopus just kept in a bit longer, he had the anti-infantry capability, totally could have done something, but it is unfortunate. Well done to Imperial Dane for winning that match, so that is very good. Um, so if uh, any more closing comments, Dane? Mm, not really, I mean, besides, I think what was my clever use of mine uses, and of course I could just me be saying that because, oh hey, it's me. At the same time, it does reflect he had a tendency of overextending. I mean, he was aggressive, which is good, but at the same time, he wasn't able to really make a coherent effort at times. And that really showed, for example, there when he extended right up into my territories and set himself up for a vicious attack from my forces. And, well, he was, of course, a bit too quick to give up at the same time. But at the same time, he was quite aggressive. I thought it was fun. And fun is the name of the game, so I guess we'll call that an end then. Yes, indeed, this is Imperial Dane saying cheers, and why not go check out Mr. Krebs' channel. Cheers.